Good morning. As you may have noticed, this is not the format in which you usually see me. I don't know where to look because like the phone's on the side now. Anyways, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Um, I've enjoyed my TikTok videos. I really enjoy being on the internet and making videos. So I thought I'd try out a longer format so I can talk more about my life, what I'm into, what my thoughts are on things. Take it from there. So the plan currently is to do little vlogs, but I don't want to just leave you with like a random view of my day. I want to have some sort of message to it. So the goal currently is to put out one vlog every week, every two weeks, whatever it is, and have a theme, have something I try to do to better my life, share something I've done that has bettered my life, essentially like a thought, a tip, a trick, whatever it is, in the pursuit of what I would consider a good life. Today is Tuesday. And I'm going to vlog throughout today. I might add a couple more days into this vlog, but the current plan is like one, two days in a vlog, whatever. And the goal for today, or I guess the theme for today, is mindfulness. So I have a lot of little tasks to do. Today is like full of errands and like random things I need to get done. So the goal is to do all those things and be as present as I can be. It's kind of ironic seeing as I'm going to be on camera the whole time, or like parts of it. But to just enjoy each task as it comes up and to enjoy being in the moment of doing that. Also, if you hear a lot of noise, there's construction outside my window all the time. I'll show you, this is, here we go. Always, always with the beeping. Anyways, let's get started with the day. First order of business is done, I had breakfast, so next up is a shower, which I am not showing you. I'll see you after. Okay, shower complete, don't worry, I'm wearing my towel. I'm gonna get ready, that'll be on my TikTok as usual but you'll see the outfit in like one second. Okay, oh my God. Okay, clothes are on. The process, in case you were curious, is I like set my camera up, microphone. Now that that's done, before I head out for the day, I have little tasks to do. Like, I, I have all this laundry to put away and I have to unpack for my trip. I have to put that laundry away. It's kind of a mess in here. So I'm gonna take care of that because I've been traveling. I'm blasting through these piles, I'm like very domestic. Okay, laundry complete. Time to unpack the rest of my stuff for my trip. I've unpacked and it was good. My room is clean now. Very, very happy with that. Next up on the agenda is some influencer stuff. So I'm actually doing influencer things or like content creation full time right now because I'm actually able to support myself on it. But in order to be able to save money next year, I need to find a job. So part one of like other tasks is influencer stuff, part two, job applications. So the order of operations here is gonna be influencer stuff, grocery shopping, and then job apps, I think. Also, just wanted to note that I've been listening to Mass Seduction by St. Vincent, one of my favorite albums. I'm not playing it because copyright reasons, but it's super good. Listen to it. Okay, we're at my desk. I'm gonna get some work done. I can't tell you who I'm working with yet, but I've got some really cool collabs coming your way. Very, very excited to share it, so. Let me get this done. Influencer work is done for the moment. Laptop shut. I need to edit stuff later, but for now I'm just gonna go get groceries. I need to eat a snack first because if I don't, I'm gonna buy everything there. So that's step one, step two, groceries. Step three, edit, step four, job apps, and then gym. It's a very busy day in a nice way. I like it. Okay, food is prepped. I'm just having eggs in a tortilla with hot sauce. I've had literally the same thing for breakfast almost every day. This, a variation of it, for the last two years super efficient, does me right, it's fine, it's very good. I'm drinking a liquid IV drink because I was given one for free and I feel dehydrated, so. Oh, look at my little sticker. It says Dune on it. It's my favorite book. It's got a stupid little worm. I like this. So the whole morning I did my little tasks. I was pretty absorbed in each one. I think I was doing pretty well, just sort of being in the moment. That was really nice. I felt very happy. And then as soon as I sat down to eat, I watched like a YouTube video on Formula One just to distract myself. Not because like I wanted to learn something about it, not because I wanted to go watch something to make me happy, just to fill the silence. And I felt immediately worse. So just like noting things throughout the day. So for mindfulness stuff so far, like when I'm just doing a task and engaging with it, it's great. And that includes like scrolling on my phone. Like if I'm like looking at stuff on my phone with the, the intent of looking at it and enjoying that, I like it. But if I'm just doing it to fill a gap, it's not as fun. It makes me feel sad. So mindfulness update. Let's go to the grocery store now. It feels super weird walking around outside with my phone in a tripod. I need like a real camera, which I don't think would feel better necessarily, but let's give it a go. 
It's like a 15 minute walk. Time for a little hot girl walk. It is gorgeous outside. Let me, let me show you how it looks. Look at that. So blue. All right, I'll keep you updated. Okay, I was gonna record the walk more, but it's been beautiful and I've been listening to music and having a wonderful time, so I just enjoyed it. I feel pretty today, the sun's nice. There's some recycling, awesome. Anyways, it's a gorgeous day. Always makes me feel better inside. Places around the corner. I feel like super weird bringing this tripod in there and there's like people around me that can hear me talking right now. I feel very silly, but this is fun, I like this. I think I want a smaller microphone because there's like a huge cord that I'm dragging around. I'm inside, I feel silly, but I can't find tortillas, which is not good. So we're gonna work on that. Okay, I found the tortillas, but they didn't have the vegan pizza I like, which is so sad. But I got a mango, so I'm happy. About to check out, I've been too nervous to film in here. It's okay, we'll work on that. Okay, successful shop, mostly. Um, it's so loud here. I was hoping to get more content in there and film more, but I was very nervous. There were lots of people around, I didn't want to embarrass myself, so it was just a couple little things, but I'll work on that. We'll make some progress. I love Trader Joe's immensely, but I did not get everything I need. Might have to hop out later to get more stuff, but that's fine. Their avocados just kind of sucked. Really sad. Oh boy. Okay. See you there. Just got back. Lovely walk. Brought the stuff back, and I found this little plant on the ground on the way. Somebody left it. Most of it's dead, but you can see that there's like a little bit left that's green. I'm trying to save it, so I just got rid of a bunch of plants because I had them. I forgot to water them before I went on a trip, and they died, which is really sad, and I feel bad about it. So I hope that by hopefully saving this one, I can redeem my plant self. We'll see. I have to go put the groceries away. Okay, everything's put away. That's all set. Next task is to edit this morning's video, which I'm very excited about. I might edit this one a bit too, just to get started and see what I'm working with. So I'm very excited to do all that. Editing is done. It went pretty well. It took a bit longer than normal because I actually put an Instagram post up too on my story promoting this video right here. Um, if you're one of the people that followed me on here, YouTube, from that Instagram post on my story, comment about it and I will personally thank you because I really appreciate the support. It is now time to work on job applications. This is actually a cool opportunity to tell you a bit more about myself and like what I wanna do with my life outside of content creation. This will continue to be a part of my life. I really love doing it. Um, so I don't, I don't, bleh, I forget how to talk sometimes. So I don't plan on stopping. I'm gonna keep doing this as long as I can. I really enjoy it. But I do have professional goals outside of social media. So I went to school for biology. I have a degree in biology, technically had a minor in public health, I was planning on going to medical school, and I decided that, well, I guess I realized that I don't love patient care enough to justify spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and like many, many years of my life, like probably a decade, trying to become a doctor. So I still love healthcare. I'm really passionate about climate change. I'm really passionate about human rights, and the niche I sort of fell into is public health. So that's a big field. There's a lot of stuff to do. What I think I might end up doing is getting a degree first as a master's in like epidemiology or in general public health, and then focusing on a PhD. I was supposed to go to get my master's this coming fall at Emory University, and then decided not to go because I lost my housing there. And that made me sort of consider all the stuff I'm doing. So I thought about my path in life, what I wanna get up to in the next five, 10 years professionally, outside of just content creation. And I sort of decided that I wanted to branch out more. So I might get my master's in tech, uh, like a computer science degree. I might get my master's in business association or no, this is MBA is master's in business administration. So I might do one of those things and then lead that into a career in climate health, which is sort of the field I want to go into because you can approach it from a variety of different disciplines. Um, but I'm just going to see what happens. I'm taking a year off to work, which is why I'm searching for a job and to do this because I really love this. So. That is the, the long-term plan. I have to decide what I'm getting a master's in and where, apply to those programs, worry about it later. But the long-term goal is to help people who are experiencing health inequity or challenges accessing healthcare or with their health due to climate change issues or whatever else I can hopefully engage with in my career. Today I'm working on Harvard job applications. So I'm gonna do that. Probably gonna take my time and do it separately away from the camera. I'll see you in a little bit. Job applications are done for the day. I got one done is fine for the day. Now it's time to lift. So we're gonna get some coffee, change outfits, and get moving. Okay, update. Joey's here. We're going to the gym together. So, But for my vlog, what I'm doing is 
just like doing a vlog. Mm-hmm. Get the fucking camera <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> but in addition to that, what I wanted to do was like actually give some sort of takeaway to people. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to share one thing per video that I've either done for my life that improves the quality of life or something I'm trying to do. Today's is mindfulness. So like everything oh. I've done, I've tried to like be very present in it. And then the times that I've not done that, I've noted it. It's been great. So my question to you, Joe, is what's mm-hmm. one thing you did today that you'd like to do to improve the quality of your life? Thanks, Taylor. Dude, honestly, I uh, <laughs> this is weird. I sat down in, in the bathroom <laughs> of my my job for like twenty minutes. <laughs> All right, one thing that um, I've been doing recently is is journaling, <laughs> which is much better than sitting in the bathroom. So, so I, what you do is you, you, and at the top you write the date and then you write how you feel, which sounds like corny, and so I, I draw like a little smiley face, or like a little frowny face. You could draw whatever you want, it could be like... I would draw a frog. You could draw a f- f- yeah. No, and then one, one image to describe your mood, so like cloudy, or, um, brolic. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's enough Joey content for today. Just kidding. Joey's coming back. back. Joey's coming back for the gym content. This is. I've been alone all day. They've seen me be very peaceful. <laughs> it's over now. It's gym time with Taylor and Joe. Joe's walking crazy. This is my outfit. Little crop top. Same shorts. Same shorts as before. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Do you want to be in my vlog? <laughs> Whatever you want. This is my girlfriend. No, I'm not. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Propaganda. The gym is this way. <laughs> uh, oh, do you... Should I, should I interview her this time, or should I save the interview for another time? I interviewed Joe. You can be interviewed for another vlog. I'll see you guys in the gym. Okay, today's pull day. Starting off with deadlifts. Joey's doing his set right now. But that's all that's going on. <laughs> oh my god. Joe just slayed his set. He's feeling great. This is tiring. I haven't deadlifted in so long. How do you feel? He's down. Oh. <laughs> okay, I took a minute away from filming because there's a lot of people. Don't want to film someone without asking them, so I'm in the corner. We're doing preacher curls, their last movement, I think. We've done deadlifts, reverse curl, no, not reverse curl, reverse grip, lap pull down, and then wide grip, uh, seated rows. People are screaming and all the kinds of stuff. But we're doing curls now, we're almost done. The workout was great. We did many things. We had a lot of fun. That's the most important thing is to have fun. I just hit Joe by accident. Anyways, we're heading back. We're gonna go get groceries. I need a single avocado. So, say it again. Okay, I got, I got the avocado. This is the avocado. It's a very good one. I'm very happy with it. How did you feel about my commentary? I ran out of words. I'm so disturbed. This is a common theme. I'm like this all the time. What do you What do you have to say to the people about how I actually am? Imagine, you spend more time with me than imagine anyone. like a rock statue, and just parks himself in the corner, and that's it until he turns on his camera. <laughs> I'm a robot, apparently. That's awesome. We're back. That is essentially the day. The workout was great. Really enjoyed having time with Joe. I'm gonna stop vlogging now. Um, I'm gonna like talk a little more. That'll be it. But I'm gonna have dinner, hang out with friends, sort of take the evening to myself. My evenings are kind of like sacred time for me. So that is essentially a day in my life. Um, I think in future vlogs, I might like take a few days at a time, vlog like half of a week or so, maybe a whole week, maybe a whole trip, something cool like that. But this is a good introduction. I think I had a lot of fun today. So to wrap this up, let's touch base about the mindfulness thing I tried today. What I tried to do was just be very present in everything I did, enjoy people's company when I had people around and enjoy the solitude when I was alone. The, the guys are cooking outside, if you can hear that. Sorry for the noise. I've noticed lately that I've been sort of distracted and thinking about the future all the time and planning things that I don't need to plan and like trying to figure out things I can't figure out yet. So a big part of making sure that I'm good within myself is making sure I don't get anxious about that stuff 
for no reason. Uh, it's very easy to, and I think that for a lot of people, it's sort of just a part of their daily life. It's been for me for some time. So working hard to change that, I've been working on it a lot lately. So being able to take today and hold myself accountable with the camera and just really try to be present in everything I did was super helpful. That is it. I kind of want to have more structure to these and like have title cards and like cool transitions and stuff, but I'll learn that as I go. So thanks for starting this journey with me. The fact that you're all here at the beginning is wonderful. There's a lot more coming. So I hope to share a lot more wonderful things with you as time goes on and all the good and the bad and uh, just take it as it comes. So have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming. Thank <laughs> you.